three, two, one, go. John Mayer! Hey! <laughs> everyone welcome to love cast the bl podcast i'm your host alexa with me today is my fellow host kayla hey Woo-hoo. Um, so today we have an interview that um might actually make me lose my mind um because it's a pairing that i am a very big fan of and who are currently really enjoying watching um you've seen them in vice versa you've seen them in our sky too and you're currently probably watching them in last twilight on gmm tv today we have jimmy and c with us on the podcast welcome to lovecast jimmy and c we're so excited to be chatting with you guys today so we have a lot to ask about when it's last twilight and we also have some questions from your fans um but we wanted to start with playing a little game to get to know you guys um we call it our chemistry game and it's gonna test how well you guys know your partner okay so to play, I'm going to ask a question and you both have to answer at the same time. Um, for example, I'll ask Jimmy what C's favorite color and then count down to three. And then you both have to answer at the same time. And if you get say the same thing, then you'll get a point. And if you guys get four out of six points, then you win and you get to ask us to do a penalty, anything you want, like do a cute pose or sing a little song. But if you get less than four points right, then we get to ask you guys to do something instead. Okay. (laughs) You want me to lose or win? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. It depends on how competitive you are. (laughs) All right. Are you guys ready? We'll just jump right in with the first question. Okay. Okay. So the first one we have is... What is Jimmy's favorite thing to do when traveling? Yeah, we had to make them hard too. <laughs> uh, answer uh, at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to count down from three and then you'll answer. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Listen, Tom. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> couldn't even finish it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's one point for us to start. <laughs> Next question. Um, which side of Jimmy's face does he prefer to take selfies with? Jimmy shop uh no Jimmy shop takes shop tight selfie na 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 kang nai mako kan ka. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Both. Both. Oh, oh, but 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 when when I'm taking photo, he always like I I like this this from mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. face. So he will like, mean mean hey, I'm at hand bang me. That's the only. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Because because a lot of the time Jimmy would like Jimmy would tell tell told C to like to turn the other way so he can turn on on the on the left side. <laughs> Ah, yeah. so you, because I, I always use this this side. Oh, so, so you like always... to use the opposite side. <laughs> yeah. Do you I, agree with that, Jimmy? <laughs> I can. Yeah, but I can do both sides. Okay. <laughs> do we count that as a point or not? And what do you think, Kayla? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, the reasoning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heather can says we... no. <laughs> All right, then. If Heather says no. <laughs> okay. okay. So you guys have to get the la- all four of the next ones correct to win. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So the next one is, if Jimmy could choose to have one superpower, which one would he want to have? Okay, ready? Three, Two, one, go. Fly. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're b- time for a comeback. <laughs> okay, the next one is 
who is C's current favorite musical artist? ศิลปินนักร้องที่ C ชื่นชอบที่สุดตอนนี้ค่ะ Okay, ready? Uh, uh, okay. Three, two. Oh, 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 not ready, not ready. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I have, I have a, 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 a choice to choose. In okay, my, have in to my... think about it. <laughs> Make a decision. <laughs> Use your telepathy. Okay. 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 Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. John Mayer. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Not bad. Nice. Not bad. <laughs> okay, you guys are making a comeback. <laughs> okay, next one is: What's the first thing C usually does when he wakes up in the morning? C T T C จะทำสิ่งแรกเมื่อตื่นขึ้นนะ Does C know? You sent me to lose, right? <laughs> no, you're doing so well, though. You're making Because a comeback. Hardly, so, so very hard. Uh, okay. Okay. Are you ready, Jimmy? Oh, m e k a He's thinking. <laughs> you did it last time. You can do it again. Can can he make some kind of hint? Hint. <laughs> Oh, you want a hint? I don't know. <laughs> Is that fair? I don't want to do a penalty personally. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, was that right? <laughs> oh no! Okay. Oh no! We're doomed. I don't like this. <laughs> all right then. It all comes down to this last question. So if you get it right, then you guys win. But if you get it wrong, then we win. Okay. <laughs> The stakes are high. So e x c i t e Can we break? <laughs> all right. The last question is. What's one snack you can always find stocked at C's house? เวลาไปที่บ้านน้อง C จะมีขนมอะไรอยู่เสมอคะแบบไม่ขาดเลย Like his go-to snack. I have no. Oh, I have. You know, you you know it. 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 His go-to snack, like the one he always goes to. You know this. ขนมอยู่เป็นขนมที่เออขนมที่น้อง C จะจะกินตลอดเวลาก็ได้ This one. Oh. Okay. Oh God. Okay. 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 Ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh... I think we were too lenient with you guys. Wow. So that's okay. Wow. All right. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> All right, we lose, um, and you guys can yeah. choose a penalty for us to do. Um, so we can do a pose. Um, we can sing a little song. We shouldn't sing a little song. Um, <laughs> whatever you guys want us to do. I can. เลือกเลือกบทลงโทษหนึ่งหนึ่งอันให้พิธีกรของเราค่ะ You you told to us how much you love us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is that actually a task? <laughs> you want me to tell you? <laughs> um, is that is that really what you guys want us to do for our penalty? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Well, I think Kayla and the whole entire team. Knows that I've been really excited and nervous for this interview since we booked it because you guys are two of my favorite actors in GMM TV. Um, so there's a lot That's of true. love from my end. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> I guess I, I, I don't have anything um, that can 
carry that up. But <laughs> I will say that I obviously have been watching Last Twilight and I've been so, so impressed with both of your guys acting. I think you are doing just like so amazing and I'm mm -hmm. really enjoying the series. Yes, yeah. yes. I agree. <laughs> Okay, well, now that we have had to confess our love on camera, um, we can jump so into if, some... If we, so if we lose, what what do you want me to do? Oh, I don't know. Well, we didn't even think about it beforehand. Oh, what do you think, Kayla? <laughs> Heather know. says probably sing. <laughs> Uh, uh, which, which song? Which song? Uh, better days. <laughs> better days. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, I agree. Just a little snippet for us. Yeah, just one ton, san san, ka. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, warm it up, warm it up. What? <laughs> 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 To remember to we say passion by Portello by May. Timmy Hinkar in Hindu Jai, Chapmetello Nikolin, Timmy May. Come around in Kishani Jai, Protel. Thank you for doing you. that, even though you technically won. <laughs> it was lovely to listen to. <laughs> so the first thing we want to start with was, uh, what were your first impressions of Last Twilight and Malk and Day when you first heard about the story? Uh, first, I a little bit uh, exciting for a new character, like mm. the character. Was, it's a blind person that I think it's very hard, like, I don't know, it's very far from, like, our material is so far to, to reach to the, that, that emotion that blind person have, and mm. it's a little bit difficult for me to, to work out. So it was like an exciting <clears throat> challenge. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. but it's quite good for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Jimmy? My first impression, I, in my head, I think, really? <laughs> you, want me, you want me to be the mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you watch the Bad Buddy series? Yes, 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 yes. 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 And why in that? That's, that's right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think this kind of the another another level of why. Yeah, anymore. like why in mm. five years? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think it's. Oh. More, more than like more times, uh, more yeah. tough, more tough, more, more, yeah, more tough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's oh, been I can through agree. a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, and I think it's, uh, yeah, it's very challenge to me yeah. to be more because because he is very, um, very hard for me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think the last thing is like the the look. Of his face, or he's yeah. a dog. <laughs> he's dog. I can't imagine how can he be a mechanic man. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, the it's transformation. Is hard. Is is hard both in physical and emotional <laughs> characters. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that kind of uh, segues into our next question. Um, so from the episodes we've seen so far, which we just watched episode six on Friday, um, mm. which scene was the most difficult for you guys to shoot, either technically or emotionally? Uh, can it be like other episode? Oh, if you want oh. to, yeah. Oh, just only six, episode six. Whatever you want from any, like anything up through episode six without yeah. spoilers. Oh. Maybe the way uh the scene that's hardest for me is uh i think the the scene that uh august kissing day mm. i think that's mm. hard for me like the way the emotional of the 
the mm. character of the like how would how would they feel like when he in a tough situation like, yeah i don't know how to imagine but it's quite hard for him yeah yeah i feel like there's probably as they a lot of different emotions going through yeah. your head throughout that entire scene and it's like an up and down roller coaster yeah, it all the time yeah literally how to <laughs> acting or like acting in in that situation is quite hard yeah but i can say that you did an amazing job so i think the emotions came off really well mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. ความรู้สึกส่งถึงคนดูแน่นอนค่ะรู้สึกกันทุกคนค่ะ In my part, I think the hardest part of my EP6 is the the sequence before before Mo bring them into the birthday party. Because because I have to I have to act act uh, happy. Like act act like I know that about. Hong Thai lah. Is is. Yes. I have to present in two layers. Is one layer is good, good, that good, like we are watching the audience. Good, like we are watching the audience. That we are going to be date with date on the day of birth. But the truth is that we are just going to be a guest for them. Is good, but that one layer is hard to break down. Okay, so uh, Jimmy said that uh, at that particular scene, there was two layers. So on one layer, they ha he has to be like happy to on because one one hand he ha mm. he has to like fool the audience a bit that oh they're gonna go on date mm -hmm. together. But on the but on the other side, on the other layer, he has he also feel a bit feel sad that he's got to be just a wingman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I as like a fan watching <laughs> that moment when you realized that uh, Mulk was taking day to try and help set him up with August, like your heart just dropped because you really had no idea from you were doing such a good job of acting happy in the scene leading up to it. Mm -hmm. And I want to I I want to tell you that the the easiest part of my EP six okay. is the is the rooftop scene. Mm -hmm. uh, Most, yeah. the, the easiest part because because they saying we we take we took we took in the last last day of uh the last shooting, shooting last year of oh, wow. shooting oh wow and last scene of shooting because oh, that was I, the last and, scene yeah uh, so so I know the whole the whole story and mm -hmm. I know what. What I what I act before and after the sequence of this scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. You know, like all of his emotions at that point, so you know what to put into the kiss and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, I I know the how to act it proper in in this scene in the rooftop scene. Yeah, yeah. it was a great scene. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So see, I really wanted to know how you exactly prepared to play the role of a character who is dealing with blindness caused by this traumatic injury. What did you do to prepare? Uh, we all have been like workshop for, I think it's about more than 20 hours. And we have mm -hmm. been through a workshop with a blind, a real blind person and mm -hmm. he give an advice and information that how how the blind person feel how how they uh uh how can i say live in the in the you you are con mu ma kapi you are con mu ma no ke kao jai kon ta bon ma kun nei gan chai shi bit wa sut thai la ke kao ga ke kon kon nung ti samman mi kwam lak dai mung คนปกติเข้าไปแล้วก็สามารถใช้ชีวิตได้อย่างปกติเลยซึ่งสิ่งนี้ที่เราไม่เคยเห็นเลยแล้วก็เขาก็มีความสุขมากๆในชีวิตของเขาที่เป็นโอเค so uh, C added that so um he he got he got a consulted with he got a 
got to get to know the the blind, the actual mm-hmm. blind people, right? And he got to learn how they they actually feel when they're in the crowd and how you know how happy they how, how what in what way is they they find love and mm-hmm. and connect with people and how you know how they find happiness in life. Yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah, that's really cool. I think you can learn a lot from, um, like, experiencing playing a character whose experiences are so different from your own, and also being able to connect with real life people who live in those situations because of that. And I also like make some research for a blind person, mm-hmm. and like I, I like I have go to a. It's a foundation of the blind blind person, and I see and go and help help them read the uh, how do I say the braille the braille, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I see how they they read and they eating and he he act like a real a normal person mm-hmm. that I think he's the same as like our life. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like that's something a lot of people don't necessarily know unless they've like seen it or experienced it firsthand. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, just seeing it, I think being portrayed in that way is probably very meaningful for Mm -hmm. a lot of people who have experienced something similar. Jimmy, you kind of touched on how difficult it was for you to get into this, quote, bad boy role Mm -hmm. of... Mulk, although I don't feel that he is really that much of a bad boy. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Just misunderstood. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I guess, like, what part of getting into that character did you find the most difficult? The phys- my physical part. Mm. Yeah, I have to mm. change. I have to change my body. Uh, and before before we shooting every 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 cue i have i have to make up more to to drop my skin and make a tattoo and earrings and some kind like that yeah let's make very i think it's is is this turf is this turf about my mm-hmm. about my act some sometimes because mm-hmm. uh and especially the earrings, because it's is uh top <laughs> that. It likes to could come off of oh, ah yeah. uh, okay. And okay. we have to uh, break, break, and cut, cut, and fix it all up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that is, it is mm-hmm. the most important thing in in the mall. This the physical. Yeah. I'm sure as like a dermatologist, it was very hard for you to not take care of your skin and everything like that. <laughs> right. I'm thinking of that scene whenever um, Mulk first comes in to that interview for the caretaker and they look at him with the ripped jeans mm-hmm. and the even... um, shirt. Yeah. And they're just like, are we sure that this person, we can trust this person? <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, we have been watching a lot of the behind the scenes videos, footage Mm -hmm. type stuff um, from Last Twilight. So we're also curious what the atmosphere on set was like. Like, how did you lighten the mood, I guess, between takes, Mm -hmm. something like that? Uh, I think PR, uh, the director always like reduce our stress. And I think he always, like after that, after he cut the scene and he like, come on, come on, clap, let's enjoy like to mm-hmm. make me and he to me lose more stress and can get on to another scene easily. And he tried to like, um, glam, um, try to, try to tease uh, me or like teasing mm. me, me like all the time to make me like more active, more, uh, more happy, <laughs> some kind like that. Because in the, in, so I mean, he have 
he has many ways to ice breaking us. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Every, mm -hmm. every, uh, every move <laughs> to, to us, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and another thing is Mark Parkin and P. Naptan always ah, like ah. <laughs> enjoy and make us like, okay, uh, I'm not spread anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like you'd always be laughing with those two on set. <laughs> yeah. And they, they made me feel like we are family. Like we're working mm. with that. Kind of a little bit. Very warm for me when, when I'm in the calm. Uh, I'm in the set. Mm -hmm. set. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now I kind of want to know if you have any like fun stories from the set of um, any, I guess, pranks or something that your castmates pulled <laughs> or just maybe, something funny they did. Maybe it's on the episode seven. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> interesting. I have been told already about, uh, it's about massage scene. Massage scene. Oh, massage. okay. So I have a cramp and then uh, people just uh, try to stretch my legs and I just fart it out. Because oh. it's, too, it's, too, it's, too, it's too tight, like, oh no, my, the crown like, got me, and I, I just fired out. And it's, it's still on the like, uh, the cameraman's still shooting. Oh my god, did you mean? Oh, he, he have like, he's still, I'm he still in my still character. Focus in the character, so, <laughs> so I can go through the scene easily, and after. They cut. I, I just go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Very focused on the scene. So, well, I, I have to. Chom god, like what? Gang ma. Got in character. That day, that day is, <laughs> is very, very late. If I find myself, oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe we have another queue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a story. <laughs> The true definition of relax. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to segue from that because that was pretty funny. But um, I guess what is one thing that you guys hope that fans will take away from watching Last Twilight? I think I have two things. First is they will understand more blind person. Mm. Mm -hmm. How they feel, how they live, and I think it will make like blind person more easily to see more people and understand right. people much. Mm -hmm. And another thing is the object, the most uh, the the super objective of this uh, series is hope. Mm. Like no matter how hard your life is. If you try to get on with it and try to solve it, you can go through the the best stuff and reach your goal. If you never like, uh, how can I say, give it up first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think this one is the important thing that most of our uh, fans would get it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very strong, comes across very strongly in the show so far. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel it already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the show's not even done yet. <laughs> no. uh, can you follow that? <laughs> I can, I can. No. <laughs> uh, I think the one that you 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 get it in our series is your tears. <laughs> <laughs> That's already happened, honestly. <laughs> your tears, uh, maybe a uh, joyful tears or the sad tears that you, you all the tears, <laughs> tears oh. that you that you can't get. It. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and as someone six <laughs> was major tears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, just just like see that. The super super objective of this series about hope, yeah. I think everyone has hope, and and the hope, the hope is a is a driving some kind of the driving emotion to do something success, yeah. 
I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I also agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next segment is going to be a bunch of fan questions. Aside from your designated purple and blue heart emojis, what emojis would you use to describe each other? See emoji. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's an easy one. He's a sunflower emoji. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, sunshine. Mm -hmm. sunshine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see it. I get it. What color would you use to describe each other and why? Blue. Because uh, he likes he likes blue. Yeah, and he he always cool. he always wears blue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Maybe orange. Oh, he, oh he that's my favorite color. Orange color, like mm, really? Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> but you really? like orange color, color. So yes, I like orange. I think I think he's like orange. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah orange. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, mystery and some kind of mm. thing. He showed up the shyness thing, like to make. People see it. Mm. So. Yeah. Orange is my favorite color, so I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> if you could act with any other GMM actor, who would it be and why? Uh, I think it will be hitting me as the same. Uh, because I uh... easy to work with him and mm. understand more. And I, I think like when we have we struggle something and we just uh, seeing each other in in our eyes and we can know that okay I know now how to how to work out like, yeah we help each other but we didn't talk together but we just seeing each other and we understand I think it's the important thing when I'm work like if we know each other and understand more it's easy to work and I think he's getting better and better in acting, and I think he will be the, I think, number one in Thailand. No, yes. no, no. no. <laughs> I, I will see, see him one day, like, in there. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, that's high praise. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know if you can follow that up, Jimmy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You have oh, to okay. say see now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. See is the one. In the same yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 We already know the reasons. <laughs> if, if if you want me to ask, not 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 see is the, I think. Canada man. Ah. Yeah. Uh, because I actually I I I have to, I work with with him just I have, I have the opportunity to to work to work with him just, but just uh, just one scene and I I see the some kind of the his his working process is mm. very mm -hmm. very impressed me yeah and I want I want to join I want to join. And uh, only one like absorb his skill uh, into mine. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I play with uh Pika Nadahan already, and I see some kind of stuff when he prepare all the things and how he get into the character easily, yeah. and like he just like when the director said three, two, one, and he just go into the character uh quickly and. I just surprised that like how how can he do it? Like, yeah, that mm -hmm. is so like impressed me. Yeah, I okay. can see that collaboration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need the Jimmy in gun yeah. series. <laughs> if you could master something in just one second, what would you choose to be a master at, and why? Feel like <laughs> 
<laughs> what did you say? Can you read that? Filler injection. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Because no, you know what? <laughs> it's the, I think it is the most difficult thing in my life to study. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, is, it, is, it is very hard to, to, to professional to <laughs> it. He, he just fair. study in the morning and just come to this. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> You're having war flashbacks. I studied, I studied for being the dermatologist for about two years, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. right now, I think that the most difficult part is the filler injection. Uh, <laughs> uh. It's, 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 it's harder than singing, it's harder than acting. <laughs> it's harder than <laughs> anything. Like, anything. Everything else just yeah. comes naturally. <laughs> Uh, yeah. because if you want me to just one second yeah it, it will uh, <laughs> yeah it's going to save him so much time in his life if <laughs> yeah, he can just get it one second it's very practical mm -hmm. <laughs> what about you C? uh maybe uh a national badminton player. National oh, player. I think this one. Yeah, I, I want. It's my dream in when I was young, and now I want to be like a badminton player, a professional. Mm. And another goal is like, and want to join the Olympic. Ah, oh, wow. Oh. That's my goal. Oh. Okay. See you at the Olympics. But now I'm, I'm, I'm in here now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully okay. can see you with a gold medal someday. Yeah. <laughs> hope so. hope, hope. Fingers crossed. That's in, the, in the Saturday. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> true. With the Star Olympics. <laughs> it's basically the same as the actual mm -hmm. Olympics. So. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Start somewhere. Yes. <laughs> to wrap it up, we just wanted to ask um, if there is any messages you would like to send to your international fans who will be watching. Thank you for always supporting. Like the first time that I step in GMM, and they are still like supporting me and supporting teaching me, and he. They, I, I can see the the way they support. It's they always tweet or mm. send me a picture, and I always go and find and go and see it. And thank you for trying to encourage me in the better way, a better version, and makes me have more. How can I say? inspiration and have more power to work in every day yeah, yeah. Mm. thank you for them too <laughs> <laughs> and i hope and i hope that i would give like the love back to them too yeah. right i think they can feel it <laughs> <laughs> I, I will work work hard to perform to let them see that i i will give all the things that i have to you, to the fans. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, I think I, 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 I will always say that I, I will promise that I will improve myself to be the better version in every day. And I don't know you guys can see in my improvement, but I think I work a lot. I improve, I think in my version right now improve a lot and I will improve and improve and improve in the better version to do it to give it to to give you to be happy in my work. Yes. And I hope to see you in a real in my eyes to eyes in every person that I could be. Yes. Just that. Oh, I, 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 I'm the one that see you, you are, <laughs> I'm the one fan that see you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number one fan right there. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy days and sitting down to chat with us. It was a lot of fun and it was really exciting for us. So we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it for our interview with Jimmy and C. Um, thank you so much to Jimmy and C for taking the time to sit down with us. It was a lot of fun and um, it really meant a lot to us to be able to have this interview. Um, so also thank you to Georgie for interpreting for us as always. We always love when they're with us on the podcast. Um, you can watch Last Twilight every Friday on GMM TV's YouTube channel. Um, so we're currently at the halfway point at the time of recording, and it seems like there's going to be a lot more to look forward to. Um, so make sure you're tuning every week for that. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things for the algorithm. Um, it really helps out the channel a lot. And while you're at it, um, make sure to share the episode with your other friends who are Jimmy C fans. I think they'll really enjoy it. Um, but that's all for this week's episode. Um, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. But we are two minutes ahead of schedule, so we can breathe a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. That's reassuring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please keep breathing, everyone. <laughs> I almost I forgot the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Actually, though. <laughs> <laughs>